Franklin. Hi, Franklin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanne. I usually do beauty content, but lately beauty just hasn't been interesting me, especially in quarantine. I've just felt like I've been in a funk. So these past few months, I've been adopting quite a few plant babies. So yesterday was one of the few times I've actually left my house during quarantine um, and I went to go plant shopping. It was like one of the first planned excursions I've ever done. So I went out and visited three locations in Brooklyn in search of plants and plant pots. Where I went this time around was to Wholesome Basket, Graham Garden, and Crest Hardware in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. All of these locations are actually really close to each other. Um, Wholesome Basket and Graham Garden are literally just a block away. And Crest Hardware was about, uh, I would say, like a 10 minute walk away. So they're relatively close to each other. So you could hit multiple places and get more variety of plants to choose from. The first place I visited was Wholesome Basket. So Wholesome Basket is actually like a deli with like um, plants outside kind of situation and they had actually a really amazing selection. So I found quite a few ficus tenekis which I've been fiending for but they are so expensive on Etsy and they're usually more juvenile and I wanted like a more established plant um, but of course with the cost of shipping it just doesn't make sense to order a ficus tenekis online. Now I'm sure in like big box stores I've seen posts from like people in Georgia and Alabama talking about how they get their ficus tenekis Taneki? How do you guys pronounce it? For three dollars? <laughs> That's absolutely insane to me. So this place had actually a great selection. I saw quite a few Tradescantia Nanooks, which people have been fiending for in um, Take a Plant, Leave a Plant. Overall, really great selection and great prices, honestly. The Tradescantia Nanook was eight dollars and on Etsy, <laughs> the Nanooks have been astronomically priced. So that was Wholesome Basket. After that, we walked down to Graham Garden, which was, as I said, down the street. And I would say Graham Garden has a better selection of pots, um, but their plants were... Eh. They had like your uh, Juvenile Monstera Deliciosa, all of those plants, um, Bird's Nest Ferns, I think. I think they also had a few Hoya Crimson Princess. Uh, hanging planters and they were quite full. Uh, they were $30. I did feel like that was kind of pricey because I have seen like plants that full from like Walmart. Nonetheless, they are there if you are like really looking for Crimson Princess because other locations don't really have them. We stopped off at um, Carmine's. This was my first time ever hearing about it, but apparently it's like this famous pizza joint in Greenpoint and we got their pepperoni sliced. I don't remember if I took a picture of it, but it was so good. Like that pepperoni, juicy. And the cheese to sauce ratio, amazing. The crust, it was like chewy, but also like crunchy crusty so that was awesome so after we had a quick bite to eat we walked down to crest hardware and let me tell you it was so hot that day like absolutely sweltering um but i really wanted to go to crest hardware because I had heard so many amazing things about it. Now, I would say that Crest Hardware definitely has the biggest selection of pots. However, when I was there, they ran out of most of their terracotta pots in like the reasonable sizes. So they either had one and a half inch or six inches. So they were missing like the three inches and four inches. So I didn't buy any of the terracotta pots, but I did buy a few of their um, ecoform pots. So they're these pots. Actually, I have them right here. So they're these pots that are made from rice hulls. They're biodegradable and they last five years outdoors and they're for inside or outside. They come with drainage holes. They're actually lightweight, but I love the look of it because it looks very premium, um, but they're quite cheap. They were $2.99 per pot and they're four inch pots. So I got 
four of the quadra pots, two of them in sand and two of them in, I think, mocha. I really wanted more of the sand one because I feel like it just fit my aesthetic more, but they actually only had three remaining. Patrick wanted the third one, so I was like, okay, I'll just buy two of the mocha ones so I could have at least like a matching set. We did ask them when they would be getting them uh, in stock again. <laughs> And they said that they'd be getting the next order in a month. So they already pre-ordered it, but they wouldn't be getting it for another month. So I was actually really lucky to be able to snag these last few. And then I also got one of their 7-inch... Uh, I don't know what shape this is, but it's like this pretty bowl shape thing. Again, it has drainage holes, which... I love because some of their pots didn't have drainage holes and I don't have a diamond drill bit like some people have recommended. For now, this is what I'm dealing with and I just feel like this is so beautiful. It's like such an elegant shape and a pretty like understated color, but it doesn't have the weight of a terracotta or a ceramic pot. Yeah, so I got those and then we went out to the back because Crest Hardware is actually known for their like uh, greenhouse and their outdoor space. It's actually quite large. Um, they had a bunch of outdoor uh, terracotta pots, but they were like huge. So only go there if you have a car. I did not. So we were just like, trying to not buy super heavy items. And I would say that Crest Hardware had pretty fair prices. I saw a Ficus Ruby for, I believe, $10. They also had the um, artillery fern, like the variegated kind that I've been on the lookout for. Um, I didn't like the look of them, but they were $10, so that's actually pretty cheap for the size that it was. They also had a uh, Philo... <clears throat> Oh, there's something in my throat. They also had Philodendron Birkin and quite a few Tradescantia Nanooks. Um, they also had String of Hearts pots, but they were so expensive for the size. I just can't see myself spending that kind of money on um, String of Hearts at this point. So Patrick ended up buying a Moon Valley Pilea, which not my first choice for a plant mind you. I would say it's one of those alien looking plants that would look really awesome in like a terrarium. I did see quite a few burl marks, like big burl marks plants. I don't know how rare those are, but yeah, they had those for about $65. Yeah, I felt like it was a good selection of plants. However, I do think that I came in on the day where they got stock of plants because I remember seeing a post on someone the day before saying that they do restocks on Thursday. So maybe visit Cress Hardware on Thursdays to get the best selection of plants. Right, so did I get a plant on my trip? Yes. <laughs> Ta-da! I got a ficus teneki! So since all three shops I think did have Ficus Teneki or Ficus Ruby. I felt like Wholesome Basket was the one with the cheapest price. Um, they're quite heavy. So did I carry this huge thing in a plastic bag on the subway? Indeed I did. And it was quite heavy. And I did end up losing one leaf through the transit, which I'm so sad because it was one of the new growths. I've been wanting a ficus teneki for so long. And this was such a good price. I just couldn't say no. It was $25. So it was only $25. And there's actually three plants in here. And the most amazing thing... I'm gonna put this down. It's too heavy. I'm dying. And the most amazing thing about being able to like visit a physical location is the choice. So I got to like look through all the plants, see which ones had the most cosmetic damage, which one was like the biggest, the tallest, the healthiest looking plant, and I got to buy that one versus, you know, ordering online. Sometimes you don't get the healthiest plants. I'm hoping to acclimate the ficus teneki to my home environment um, for about two or three weeks before I separate out the three plants because I would like to um, not have it so bushy and together so look forward to a repotting video for that also if you guys are going to be shopping in that area for plants or whatever i highly recommend going to pies and thighs oh my gosh so pies and thighs is like this southern living food pies and thighs is southern comfort food so they got fried chicken they got home fries they got all the good stuff i got the fried chicken box it was like um 18 it was so 
oh my gosh it came with like three chicken pieces and um some and a biscuit and then also your choice of a side we got the potato salad as a side and that was so good it had like boiled potatoes with like onions and dill and pickles like chopped up pickles uh absolutely amazing it was like sour but like so fatty and amazing it came with the most heavenly biscuit now mind you i think the biscuit on its own cost 350 so that's kind of expensive but it was like twice the size of a popeye's biscuit and it was like like burnt brown on the outside but the inside was like this fluffy flaky layered goodness that they cut in half and put some honey in the middle and then they also gave you like a side of like honey butter for you to dip the biscuit in it was so good and okay that chicken so juicy holy cow I wouldn't say that the outside was super crunchy or amazing, but the inside of that chicken was so juicy. I don't know about you or if it's just my Popeyes near me because Patrick says that his Popeyes are good, but my Popeyes has super dry like breast pieces of the chicken that are not my favorite unless like there's ketchup to dip it in. But this one, like you don't need to dip it in anything because it's so good. Okay. So that is my rant about food and plants. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it helped you guys on your plant journey. If you have any suggestions for uh, future places to visit to buy plants, <laughs> I love plants. Definitely let me know down below. And also I created a new plant Instagram. You guys should go check it out. I'm gonna be posting all of the plants that I have and any updates and of course, all of the plants that I'm in the process of killing. Uh, if you guys would like a video on that, please let me know. And yeah, that is it for my video. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!